today we're going to take a look at my manga collection. A lot of you people have been requesting this, so I'm finally doing it. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Uh, on the bottom we have Fire Punch. This is a really good series. I'm only on, well I just finished volume 3, so I'm going on to 4. There's a lot that happens in volume 1. Uh, so far it's a really good series, I recommend it. And... Well, I, I can't really say much. I don't, I don't know what... It's a lot of fighting and just a lot. There's, a, like, the first volume, there's, like, incest and then killing and then everything bad you can think of is, like, in there, <laughs> pretty much. Gangsta. I haven't read the manga for it, but I watched the anime, and that's what made me wanted to collect this. Oh, you know what? I should just show it instead of... That way you could see it. It's about the two brothers, and they're like dogs. Who we'll have like a dog tag, and there's a lot of fighting and mafia involved. And I like it. This is the um, sequel, or prequel, Gangsta Cursed. I, I also haven't read that. And another part of oh, oh yeah, forgot about this Hellbound. This is actually a webtoon. I bought this because of the cover. I thought it looked really interesting. I only read a little portion of it. So it's about like him and he's starting, well, he's saying like, you know, humans are being punished and this is their way of showing like, <laughs> like the time's come. And he has a whole like following and a uh, girl on the shore this is one of the Inio Asano series that I have as you can see I'm reading it I have a bookmark I know I have a, <laughs> a receipt as a bookmark I don't know how I feel about it so far it's just eh maybe I gotta finish it Attack on Titan volume 34 this is the Kini Kini Kunuya version I'm probably saying it wrong Okay, it comes with this board. I like this one. I like that it has all of the the gang in there. And there as kids. And it comes with the board. <laughs> the Made in Abyss anthology. I don't know. Oh wait, I forgot to mention that this is just one section of my manga. So I do have the other set. This is the actual Made in Abyss set. This is the anthology. This is a disappointment. I bought this because I, I thought it would talk about each layer. But no. So I'm probably going to sell that. Well, I'm going to read it first and then sell it. Neon Genesis. I bought these because... Uh, most of these mangas I buy because I watch the anime. And I like it. So that's added to my collection. The Flowers of Evil. That one I actually haven't read. Oh, it's kind of stuck in there. Well, I... I don't know if I would like this. Because I remember reading, like, the first few pages and it wasn't, like, my interest. But I always want to give, like, a manga a try by reading the whole thing and seeing, oh, maybe does it get better or... I don't know. Let's see. Hell's Paradise. I actually like this series. I've only read the first two manga, but I finished the anime. Well, I'm all caught up on where it left off as. I think the artwork's nice. Like, I like the cover of it. Very vibrant. It's about um, him as like a, he's like an ex-convict. Or like he's like on death row. And basically they get sent to this place called Hell's Paradise and they fight all these crazy crazy monsters and he's just trying to get back to his wife. Blood on the Tracks. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this and I know this story gets like really crazy. I'm not gonna flip through it because I'm gonna spoil myself because I actually have not read this. All I know is that she's a crazy mom like kind of obsessive. Oh in this little corner there is my One Piece Pirate Recipes. 
I actually did a video on this. I bought this because I wanted to cook something from here, which I still haven't. Oh, you know what? Next time I make a burger, I'm going to try that. I got to remember to like grab it out and actually <laughs> make something from here. But, I mean, I'm sure anything Sanji makes is good, so <laughs> I don't know if I could live up to his expectation. Gleifner. This is actually really interesting. Why? Well, I haven't finished it yet. I know I've been reading a lot of mangas and I don't finish it. But I I don't know. It's kind of, it's really graphic and I like it. The, before Chainsaw Man, I didn't know what this was about. I thought this was like, like a prequel to Chainsaw Man. But this just talks about the author's work before he made Chainsaw Man from, I think these are the years, 2017 to 2021. 20, which, eh, I didn't really like it. There was one story in there about like a, I think it was, where is it? The chick, like, yeah, the chicken, the, the guy in the mask. I'm like, I like that one, but I wouldn't really keep it. Black Clover, Volume 1. This is, I believe, the Loot Crate version. Is this Loot Crate? No, it's not. But this is not the regular cover for one. I was watching the ma uh, anime, and I was trying to get into it. But once you could get past, like, the first 20 episodes, it, gets, it starts getting better. So I'm trying to get the collection for it. But fortunately, I only have volume one. Alice in Borderland. I got this series because just of how the cover looks like. It looks awesome. And I really like games and the crazy, I mean, it's like Alice in like Wonderland themed. So I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm give it a try. I read the first volume and I liked it. So I was starting to collect the rest. I'm I just only read the first two volumes, so that I have not touched yet. Knights of Sidonia Master Edition. This is another work by Tsutsumi Nihei. I'm so sorry, I'm butchering his name. I read Biomega online, and I read Abara, which I don't have here, but I haven't read this one. I really like his artwork, but I feel like... He kind of, like, he has great story, but, but, um, he kind of has to expand on the stories, if that makes sense, because some of it doesn't make, it doesn't, it's like missing something. Uh, I'm so frustrated trying to explain things. Uh, yeah, I have a calculator here, <laughs> in case I want to do my math, I'm like, <laughs> Sakamoto days. I bought this series, have not read it yet. I know there's a lot I haven't read. I thought it was just interesting, the, just the cover itself. I'm like, so hopefully that's a good series. This is actually not a, wait, no, this is a manga. Because I do have some light novels in here. I don't remember how, how I got this. I think it came with like when I bought the other Naruto mangas. See, these two are light novels. I mean, I have to get them. They're Itachi. I only read the first three pages. <laughs> so, I'm getting there. Opossums. See, this is another series with Knights of Sidonia. That one I actually read and I completed. I liked the, I liked the artwork. Everything about, like, his artwork is just amazing. But the fight scenes suck. Not that, the, like, his drawing for the fight scenes suck. It's just I wanted it to be expanded longer. Like, the fight scenes take one page. So it just makes him way too overpowered. Like, if there was some, like, tension, that would have been great. Smoking Parade. I did a video on this as well, and, and that one. I, I'm i only on... I finished 1, 2, and 3. I like it so far. The first one, like, gets me interested. Is it, it's about these spiders. Well, 
they're not gonna people are not gonna know what that is but spiders or jackalopes so in this first one his sister gets turned into one of those spiders which she and he like almost dies but then they save him and turn in into a jackalope and his whole mission is to like find his sister blah 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 yeah so i got smoking parade because of the cover i just like how it looks and it's also the same creator as dead man wonderland and look back this is another manga from Ch the same author as fire punch and chainsaw man i finished this i thought it was sweet but i just i don't know i didn't really tug at my heartstrings that much i mean something sad does happen seraph of the end i got this because it was one of the first manga, I mean, animes that I watched. And I just wanted to complete the collection. It's about, like, these kids that get superpowers and they fight the vampires, which are their oppressors. It kind of reminds me of uh, The Promised Neverland. And I think that, like, the covers look really pretty. Yeah, so they all have, like, different powers. Uh, Attack on Titan box sets. I decided to get the box sets because I think it's just easier to have. They're not in order. But I do have the complete collection. These are the, the you know, the Armored Titan, the Colossus, the Female Titan, I forgot her name. And the other ones are up there. That one I have in shrink wrap, but that's the last set. Uh, why did I decide to get these ones compared to the Omnibuses or the Colossus version? I don't like the Colossus version. I thought it was cool because I... Originally, I thought it was about, like, the Titans, but it's not. It's just an oversized version, and I don't like reading mangas like that. Livius. I bought this because of the spine. That looks pretty interesting. I had no idea what this was about. I just thought, oh, hey, cool spine, cool cover, cool book. Let me get it. <laughs> so it's about boxing with, with, like, tech. There's another anime I watched that had um, boxing and tech. I forgot what it was. But I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it has potential. And this evil clown is, like, really OP. See, that, that looks cool, because he, he reminds me of, like, a person from Bleach. But, um, so apparently this is not complete. If you do finish this, you're going to need to buy Levius EST, which I don't have. So I don't know if I, I want to continue that. I feel like it does have potential. All you need is kill. It's the same art style, because it's uh, by Death Note. He's the one that drew this. The plot is very similar to to um, the movie Edge of Tomorrow. He has to keep reliving the day over and over. Because he, every time he dies, he relives that day over and over. The ending's kind of like meh, but if they like made like a second volume and maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's it's a complete ending, but I just feel like it's not that great. Which is probably, I might probably keep, probably sell. Seven Deadly Sins Omnibus is not the complete set. I, the reason why I got these Omnibus is because of the spine. I really like how it all connects. Like, Diane is just running into the next one, and then they're all just, like... <laughs> Um, I col I'm collecting this series because I like the anime. And Mediodas. <laughs> I can't do her voice. But oh! <laughs> But yeah, I mean I Oh okay. Twentieth Century Boys. This is a good read. I haven't finished it. I'm on like book four or five. 
This is the main character, Kenji. And every chapter just gets crazier and crazier. So it's all connected. Like, uh, like they flash back between like their childhood and then like the present time and then like when they're adults. So, but everything is connected. And it just gets every every volume you read you're like what is going on like you think you find out the identity of the friend and you're like now i'm questioning myself oh he is my favorite so far he's one of the friends from the past so the story of this is like kenji and a group of his friends from childhood made a whole storyline of him them being like superheroes and then how the world's ending, and then in their adult life, one of the people, we're not sure who it is, is recreating the whole thing in real life, and the world is, like, ending. There's a big, giant robot. It's crazy. There's a lot going on. <laughs> and this is pretty cool. I like this version because it has each person on the cover. It's like, oh, I wonder who this is. I wonder who that is. And also the spine itself, you can't really see it, but it makes like the whole face, like if you connect all of them, it makes a face of the giant robot. Okay, Shadow Student Council Vice President. Unfortunately, I can't show you that because there's a lot of Ichi and a lot of nudity. Uh, I thought there was going to be more stories with this and getting to know her, but it's just fan service but I got this because I like prison school I know <laughs> prison school okay up there we have the box sets so they have the bleach box set 2 Naruto box set 2 oh wait no this one is one and Claymore box set 3 bleach demon slayer Naruto box set 2 and bleach box set. I know they're not in order don't come at me, because you're like, why is the bleach not next to the other bleach? And why are the not to Don't come at me. And then My Hero Academia and Tokyo Go. Unfortunately, I have not read the mangas inside there. But I've got all of these because cause they're just animes that I liked watching, and I wanted to collect them. And what better way than a box set? Up there are the Attack on Time box sets. They're the complete ones. They go with these ones down here. I, I didn't have room to put them all together. I know they're out of order. But yeah. Oh yeah, there's a Ichigo Funko Pop up there as well. As, and a Luffy Taro. I have a lot more Funko Pops, but that would be a separate video. This is just my manga collection. Okay, and then anyways, there's some more other stuff other video. Here I have some more stuff. There's like a collection of comics with my Legos and my Funko Pop. And I have Blame, which is also another series by Mihai. But unfortunately, this is Spanish. Anything that says Panini Manga is in Spanish. And my Tokyo Go Rebox it down here, along with the Bone series and the Moss series. This one's not open yet. I wanted, I've been wanting to read that, but haven't got time to it. So this is my second shelf. It has a little bit of everything, like manga, comics, board games, Funko Pops. But I'm just going to focus on the mangas. So here we have the complete One Piece boxes. Yes, they're all shrink wrap. I need to make a video on them. And I'm pretty sure they'll probably come up with another one as... I mean, one piece just keep us going. <laughs> Here I have the Death Note box set. It's also shrink wrap. As you can see, I, I need to do a video on that. I actually have the black edition, which will be in a separate video. And this is the Chainsaw Man box set. I think this one is my favorite so far. It's just really cool. I know it's tiny compared to the rest, but I just like, look at him. <laughs> so, um, behind Gus, I have the Dragon Ball box set. It's also shrink wrapped. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> Don't come at me. Uh, down here we have 
uh, Death Note DVD Solanin and Downfall. The same creator. I haven't read them. This is The Girl from the Other Side. I just recently got this hardcover. I like how aesthetic it looks. It's just so pretty. And okay, there's nothing behind The Walking Dead. Okay. Down here, some okay, comics. Okay, let's go over here. There's comics in the back. And behind Jiraiya is a Silent Voice box set. I just watched the movie. I haven't read. I still have not read the manga. But the movie kind of made me cry. And I was like, oh. So. Also behind. Oh yeah, here's the. If you want to see the box. See, this is pretty. I like that. Behind that, I have Ushio and Tora. I watched the anime. It's kind of weird, but I like it. I kind of like it. Well, eh. It's not my favorite, but not my not the worst. It's about them fighting like monsters, and he's also like a monster, but he like he combines with him into like a spear. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, Spy Family. I, why is this not in order? <laughs> okay. This is just so cute. I haven't completed the set. I feel like they're going to drop a box set. I'm not sure. But I like this. I recommend it. It's cute with like a little bit of like comedy and seriousness. Happiness. I, I bought this because it's been recommended by my friend. He said it's a good series. Oh, and it's the same creator of Flowers of Evil. Still haven't read it, so I don't know. I got this from the library. It's really messed up, but I mean, it was a dollar, so I think that's a good deal. And I have this. It's another series by Inio Asano. I don't know how I really feel about it. It's just kind of... I don't know, I was like reading it just to complete it, but I didn't quite enjoy it. Over here we have Burn the Witch, the same creator as Bleach, the art style. This is the only interesting book, I mean manga, because it comes with the slipcase cover. That's, that's weird. <laughs> I would have thought it'd be like a DVD, because usually DVDs have slipcase covers. I can't put that, I'll put that back in later. Shaman King, still haven't read it yet, so I can't really judge it. Demon Slayer, this is, well I have the complete box set in the front, but this is just a side story, side manga. Talks about Rengoku, which everybody likes, and, and the other Hashira. Colorless, I bought this because of the cover. I like the monochromatic scheme with the pop of the with the color makes it stand out they're really heavy for some reason i not sure how i feel about it i think it has potential but i gotta keep reading so it's like eh made in abyss it's a really good anime i didn't think i was gonna like it because i'm like well, it has kids in it and but it's really good. The story is really unique. And it's not for children because there's a lot of messed up things that happen. It's like, oh! <laughs> Black Lagoon. I have not read this yet. So, I don't know. I can't really judge it. But I think it might, it could possibly be good. I mean, it has a, a chick, badass chick with guns. And then, yeah. Okay, on the bottom we have Blood Lad. I actually saw the anime. I liked it. It's not my favorite. It's about vampires. And it has this like comedic story to it. It's not too serious, but it's also like fun. So. But I don't know if the manga is the same. I don't remember too much about it. 
I have some games in the back and Full Metal Alchemist. I only have the Omnibus. Oh, I do have the hardcover ones. So, debating. I probably won't get the Omnibuses. I'll just probably stick with the hardcovers. Because I generally like hardcovers. That is upside down for some reason. It beats you. I don't like this story. <laughs> um, I don't know. There's... I don't like it. I don't know why I have it. I think I bought it with, like, the other collection. So, I like a horror manga. And he... She, she just... She's, like, unstoppable, basically. <laughs> um, Tokyo Revengers. I like this series. I like the anime, which is what got me to get this. I, and... He does not look like the main character at all. It looks so different. But it's about gangs and him going back into the past to prevent all this stuff from happening. But it just keeps getting worse, no matter what he keeps doing, and he keeps going to the past. <laughs> uh, but it's really good. I recommend that. So we have Tombs here. This is just one of the short collection stories from Junji Ito. I have my other collection in my other set, but I haven't read all these. But I like collecting his work. He has amazing work. Vinland Saga. This is a good series. have not read the manga. I appreciate that all of them are hardcover. And it's about him and his father dies in, like, the beginning. And now he's on, like, a revenge to kill the person who killed his father. And he, he boards the same ship on him and he's been holding that grudge. But, like... The second season is like a big change. Oh yeah, that's the prince and I don't remember his name. I don't like the prince. But it's good. It's like first season is about him as a boy trying to get revenge. Second season is him older and it's a big shift. So I don't know. But good. And there's the rest in the back. I have all the way up to 13. I think there might be a 14. I'm not sure. Prison school. I, <laughs> you might probably be judging my... <laughs> you're like, why do I have this? I actually enjoy this. I know it's... It's it's funny. but And there's a lot of fan service. But it's just funny. I like it. it I didn't think I was going to like it. But I watched the anime. And I don't think I could show it. I don't I feel like I'm going to have to censor a lot. So I'll just show the covers. But this one goes up to 10. There's a lot more, which I don't have the rest. And Soul Eater. I have the hardcover volume 1 here. And, oh, psh. <laughs> I was going to flip right to the page where I'd have to censor on that. Okay. Soul Eater. This is one of the animes that I watched. Uh, one of the early animes that I watched, and I really enjoyed it. The beginning is a lot of, like, filler, but it's, like, funny. Or at least I thought it was funny back then. And then it gets really serious, but it, and then it cuts off. So I'm hoping they finished it in the manga. have not read it yet. But it's also the same creator as Fire, Fire, um, Fire Force. Bleach. This is a light novel I have... Volume 2. I got this on Amazon because it was on sale for like, uh, I think it was like it, it, like $6. Because the retail price for this is 18 And I was like, you know what? I can't pass up on that. Oh, I didn't even know there's a poster in here. But yeah, I mean, I know it's not Volume 1, so I can't read it yet. This is actually a pretty... Whoa, there's so many pages. <laughs> okay. So... Hopefully I could read that. I don't know why this is also upside down. This is another light novel for Tokyo Go. I still have not read it yet. In the back, I have the complete Hunter x Hunter series. Let me just take this out so you can see that. So, 1, 2, 36. But I've heard that they're continuing the anime. 
because it finished oh oh that is not good why is my volume 15 all bent mm. well i'm sad about that i'm gonna have to but i really really recommend this i love it i love the whole anime kind of didn't like the chimera arc that much but i still finish it i highly recommend it so that's why i bought the complete collection as a manga up here is my tactics let me move that sorry i did not mean a tactics this is heroscape is another game i have some some dragons there too from the same game okay here i have my this is a webtoon it's not even manga but i guess i'll show it to you everything is fine it's about like this dystopian kind of um society and it gets pretty crazy. There's a lot going on just in the first. Uh, but yeah, they're trying to save their kids. And. But like, she's the main character with the husband, and they're trying to like live through this society, trying to save their kids. And yeah, it's a lot going on. But read it, it's free on Webtoon. You don't have to buy the actual copy. I just liked it, so I bought the physical copy. The Solving Classroom. This is another series by Junji Ito. I didn't really like this series that much, but I like collecting stuff. I have a problem with collecting stuff. Um, it's not that it's a bad series. It's just that he makes people brain like melt from apologizing to them it's about his brother and sister and but i feel like there's better series that he's made monster i've heard so much good things about this i still gotta watch the anime but i bought it because it's the same creator that made 20th century boys and i like 20th century boys so far so i'm assuming monster is going to be great I have no idea what it's about going into it. I really don't know <laughs> nothing about it. Okay. Goodbye, Eerie. I don't know what this is about. I think it's a short from the Matt. Oh, a story about coping with loss. So I guess it's kind of similar with uh, his other short story. I haven't read this one yet, but I got it because the cover seems interesting. And, you know, I like Chainsaw Man and <laughs> Fire Punch. The Remarried Empress. This, oh, why are these heavy? These are heavy. <laughs> this is a webtoon. This I, I like the series. It's about romance and Navier. We stand a queen. <laughs> um, I'm just going to say read it. It's good. It's, it's on webtoon. Again, it's free. I just like collecting the actual one and physical. This is Dead Dead Demons Destruction. Um, Ennio Asano. Oh, I didn't even know it was by Ennio Asano. But he's the same one that made Goodnight Pun Pun right next to it. Have not read this yet. It looks interesting. I mean, the covers kind of reminds me of um, 20th Century Boys with each person on there. Oh yeah, there's more monster in the back, and the dead dead are on the top, and the good night pun pun are in the back. Have not read this yet. I have most of his collection, but I haven't read most of them, so um, hopefully I like his work. <laughs> Up here, some DVDs and more DVDs. I almost forgot behind my DVDs is housing. These are some big hardcovers. Let me see if I could. Well, there's volume three there. I like it. It's really... Well, I like the book itself. And I was watching part of the anime, but I haven't finished. And I have a third shelf, but that will be a separate video. So if you want to see those mangas, you got to wait. <laughs> and I know there's a lot here. But, again, I'm going to make a bunch of videos to see if you want to guys... 
if you guys are interested in my Funko Pop and board games and what else, my DVDs, I guess, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if I'm missing a manga, what manga should I collect? I know I don't have Berserk, so do you guys think I should get that? Or whatever other mangas. And if you want to support my channel, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.